Hello, this is Mohaim and today I'm going to show you how to do the stress invariance derivation starting from the equation shown in the screen. So starting with the first invariant which is I1 equal to sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z. So this is the first equation which is the first invariant which is i1 there is no need to do any derivation for this invariant so we continue to the second invariant which is i2 i2 equal to the matrices sigma x tau xy tau xy and sigma y plus sigma y tau yz tau yz sigma z then the third one the third matrix sigma x tau x z tau x z sigma z so starting from this equation we need to continue to simplify these matrices into the equation form and then we get the uh, the second invariant equation so by multiplying uh, the 2 by 2 matrix a sigma x times sigma y minus tau xy square plus sigma y sigma z minus tau yz square i'm going to show you how to do this one so i2 uh, will be equal to sigma x sigma y minus tau x y square then plus sigma y sigma z minus tau y z square plus sigma x sigma z tau x z square so we do a rearrangement for this equation to be in this form sigma x sigma y plus sigma y sigma z plus sigma x sigma z minus the shear stresses which is tau x y square minus tau y z square minus tau x z square so this will be the second equation which is i2 this is the second equation for the second variable which is i2 so we continue forward to the third invariant equation so i'm going to show you the matrix form of i3 equal to sigma x tau x y tau x z here tau x y sigma y tau y z tau x z tau y z and sigma z now the next step is to simplify this uh, matrix into an equation form to find the final equation for the third invariant the multiplication of 3 by 3 matrix in case you don't know how to do it we get the, th the first one skip its row and its column and we get this and we do the multiplication of 2 by 2 matrix and then we continue to the second one 
and the third one I'm gonna show you by the steps how to do it so I3 equal to Sigma X we open the brackets Sigma Y Sigma Z minus tau y z square minus tau x y we open the brackets tau x y sigma z minus tau y z tau x z and we close the bracket then we continue to the third one minus tau x z we open the brackets tau x y tau y z minus sigma y tau x z so we're gonna do uh, more simplification to this uh, equation we go, we're gonna open the brackets and we get the uh, more simplified form of this equation so i3 equal to sigma x sigma y sigma z minus sigma x tau y z square minus sigma z tau x y square minus tau x y tau y z and tau x z then we continue to open the last bracket which is minus tau x y tau y z and tau y z minus sigma y tau x z square so this is uh, the last uh, the last equation we we can do one more step to simplify this equation so i3 equal to sigma x sigma y sigma z minus sigma x tau y z square minus sigma z tau x y square minus sigma y tau x z square minus 2 tau x y tau y z tau x z so I have one mistake here which is should be x z okay now it's correct this is the last uh, equation which is uh, i3 and there is uh, one more case I need to highlight so in case of the principal stress there will be a no shear stress so tau x y equal to tau y z equal to tau x z and equal to zero in this case i1 will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z and the second one will be sigma x sigma y plus sigma y sigma z plus sigma x sigma z 
and the third one will be sigma x sigma y sigma z so these are the final equations of the stress invariance in case of uh, rotation uh, these invariants will uh, be the same there is no effect in the negative or the positive side so in the question if it mentions that there is a rotation for 45 degree or for 30 degree uh, the stress invariance will be the same there is no affection so these are the uh, final equations i hope you find this tutorial uh, useful if you have any question you can email me and uh, i'll catch you later